so you were writing, um, you, ha you, you entered this competition that you won, and then your play was performed by several different youth companies around Norway. What was that experience like, seeing your play interpreted by them? Yeah. It was, uh, I remember the first time it was like a mixture of, uh, um, you know, I was really proud, but then I also was a bit, uh, embarrassed and wanted to hide <laughs> and uh, no it was uh, it was uh, really and they were so um, I am um, the text what the work they did mm. with the, my text was uh, uh, yeah I was thankful for um, it was um, that it was that group because uh, they oh that's a good stort rätt jag tror jag vill säga att att arbetet de gjorde med texten var väldigt ordentligt eller de de gjorde så fint liksom they worked in a very um, proper yeah, way yeah. thoroughly yeah they worked thorough thoroughly, thoroughly. <laughs> with yeah how many and I did... really appreciated that because it was uh, uh, yeah, I know the mixed feelings, and it was the first time uh, my dad was there, and it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you'd, you'd had the experience of seeing uh, one youth group perform your text, and you felt that the work you did was very uh, proper, very thorough. Um, did, um, was there anything, like, did you feel that what you saw on stage was you know what you would imagine, or do you see something new or something different in your in your play when yeah, they performed it? Was it? Both. Uh, it was really strange because when I saw the first uh, group, and of course it was only one group that uh, chose to play, but I was thinking, how could anyone else play that part? <laughs> it had to be them. <laughs> so I, I think the casting was just, uh, yeah, it was perfect and. And then also, you know, uh, it was strange hearing some of my words uh, from uh, played out in a different way than I had imagined. And, and they also added uh, a lot of their own so that I hadn't thought about, or it was new. <laughs> yeah. And words or, or actions? Yeah, they, yeah words. And you and you did you you felt that that was okay? Yeah, <laughs> it was cool, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, because um, I think a lot of <laughs> a lot of writers that I've met are very scared of people adding things to their work. Yeah, you, and you... I can understand that too. But I think because of my background, uh, also performing at stage, uh, I I'd rather that you add a few words and uh, look. Um, Interpret. Interpret. Interpret mm. uh, the part, uh, other than just uh, not feeling, not being. Uh, so it's, it's about making it your own. Yeah, the, exactly. <laughs> the actors need to be allowed. To yeah, rather than do that and add a few words, than not caring or not. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um. So you had this experience, and then you enter the competition again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about that. It, um, yeah, tell me about that. No, it was just that uh, I had uh, already written the second play, and I really liked the experience and working with um, a dramaturg. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to do it again. <laughs> and you were chosen again, but this time together with one other yeah. young writer. So there were two of you. It was. <laughs> Um, did you uh, meet the other writer a lot, or did you communicate with the dramaturg just on your own? Like, did no. you meet all three together? Actually, uh, the second they did it differently. Instead of uh, working with the dramaturg, it was uh, a workshop uh, where it was, I don't know, maybe fifteen of us okay. that was chosen to participate in this workshop, and we uh, it was held not by. 
So we didn't work with uh, individually with mm. the dramaturgy. It was more like reading exercises and meeting playwriters and which okay. which yeah. which was nice and meeting each other. You know that was mm. uh, the social part of it. But uh, I think I preferred just working with the text, and because the workshop was uh, a couple of days and um, the work with the dramaturg was. I think a couple of months. Mm. So for the uh, text, I think it was a better process to um, work with the dramaturg. Mm. So there were 15 of you, and out of those 15, two were chosen to then go on um, to have their, their texts uh, published and distributed to all the youth groups. Yeah. Um, and then you, you got to see your play performed by several groups. Yeah. <laughs> now, what was that experience like? Uh, it was... It was uh, kind of the same. Uh, um, but did you feel like the first time you said you saw these actors, the, yeah. you know, the first performance, and you thought, oh, this, the casting is perfect. Yeah, but then I felt that every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, you said you'd already written the second play. Did you write the second play? Well, when did you write the second play? Was it after you wrote the the won the competition for the first play? Yeah, I think I wanted to write a novel, a youth novel, and then I just it wasn't a novel; it was a play. That interesting. Because <laughs> that, that leads me to another question that that I, I I thought of that today that I wanted to ask you. How because you write in so many different formats, how do you know? How do you know when you have an idea whether it is a novel or a play, or or how do you find out? Mm. It, um, it's uh, first. It's just like I said, this uh, image. Mm. Uh, when I wrote uh, the first play, was I was uh, on a bus, and uh, I saw this group of uh, teenagers. They were sitting beside me, and I started listening to them and. Uh, and for many months after I saw them, I just couldn't stop thinking about them. Uh, so then I wrote the short stories. Uh, but it, um, uh, it it didn't catch like what I wanted uh, or what I saw in them. Um, so I had to uh, make them speak to each other. So and yeah, so it became a play. And I don't know how it just uh, <laughs> um, so, but that's um, happened several times that I think that I'm writing something and it turns out to be another thing. <laughs> so it's a process of discovery. Um, do you discover it inside of your own work, or do you have to test it somehow? Do you, do you write? You know, you start writing a short story and then you, you know, put a big crossover it and then you start writing dialogue instead just to kind of to, to sense what the yeah what works best it's uh i just try <laughs> till it works or to, yeah <laughs>